ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check. Hello everyone, I am Jules Giang and this is K-Check. Patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Tingnan natin kung kaya nila ang brain workout na inihanda natin para sa kanila this season. Samahan niyo kami until the final week of competition para malaman natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Yubel is a BS Business Administration student of UP Diliman. She enjoys playing sports, watching theater plays and musicals, and reading books. She enjoys traveling and visiting various places, both local and abroad. Sunod naman, Ray is a BS Mechanical Engineering freshman from UP Diliman. His hobbies include sleeping, biking, and spinning around. He likes to drink lots of coffee and likes to listen to Taylor Swift songs. Up next, we have Maxi. Maxi is a UP Diliman engineering major. Her hobbies are listening to music and playing sports. She is also a big fan of food drips. And finally, we have Fabs. Fabs studies materials engineering in UP Diliman. And as a member of UP Tabletop, he welcomes people into the board gaming hobby. In his free time, he loves jogging around the Akkad Oval. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. Next, we have Professor Glessi Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters from UP Diliman. And finally, we have Professor Ben Vallejo of the UP Institute of Environmental Science and Meteorology. At ngayon, contestants, it's time for round one. Remember to wait for me to acknowledge you before answering these questions. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Let's begin. Question number one. In sports, what do you call the division of a volleyball match that is usually completed when a team scores 25 points? Maxi. A set. A set or set is correct. Paycheck. Question number two. Dua Lipa's hit song, Dance the Night, is part of the soundtrack of what 2023 movie about the world's most popular doll? Fabs. Barbie. Barbie is correct. Paycheck. Question number three. In dinosaurs, what does T stand for in T-Rex? Yobel. Tyrannosaurus. Tyrannosaurus or Tyrannosaurus is correct. Paycheck. Question number four. Which rectangular cartoon character lives in a pineapple under the sea? Yobel. Spongebob. Spongebob is correct. Okay, check. Alam mo yung theme song? Sige, pakinggan na lang natin mamaya. Okay, question number five. Ang Gat Dam is one of the country's largest dams. It supplies potable water and energy to Metro Manila and nearby areas. In what province can you find ang Gat Dam? Fabs. Bulacan. Bulacan is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. In what Korean city's metropolitan area is almost half of the population of South Korea located? Maxi. Seoul, Korea. Seoul, Korea is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. What do you call a member of the upper house of the Congress of the Bicameral Legislature of the Philippines? Fabs. The senator? The senator is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. Which Filipina became famous for playing the role of Kim in Miss Saigon that won her the 1990... Yobel? Lea Salonga. Let me continue. That won her the 1990 Laurence Olivier Award for Best Actress in a Musical. The correct answer is Lea Salonga. Okay, check. Question number nine. In Japanese cuisine, what do you call... The popular dish of seafood or vegetables dipped in a thin batter and fried in deep fat. Maxi. Tempura. Tempura is correct. Paycheck. Question number 10. 
what number is one half the sum of 37 and 37? Uh, Pass. 37. 37 is correct. Hey, check. Question number 11. Musicals. Mamma Mia is a 2008 musical comedy film that is based on the songs of what Swedish singing group? Uh, of course, Yavel. ABBA. ABBA is correct. Hey, check. Last question for this round. In Disney films, what kind of animals are Simba and Mufasa? Babs. Uh, lions. Lions is the correct answer. Kate And that ends our round number one. Leading is Fabs with 50 points, followed by Yubel with 40 points, Maxi with 30, and Ray. Tayo pang humabol sa next rounds natin. Dito sa K-Check and sana everywhere then we learn something new every day. Halos araw-araw yata ay meron kami contestants na naglalaro ng flag football. Kaya na po natin gumawa ng team actually. Ngayon naman, si Fabs, Tabletop Games Enthusiasts. Tell us more about this uh, hobby of yours. Ano itong mga board games na nilalaro mo usually? From childhood naman, naglalaro na ng board games. So, my family has a monopoly set in Jenga. Mm. But also, nung na, na, nasa college na ako, mm. uh, I met more people. And natutunan ko rin that there are more newer board games that na lumabas. And in fact, some of them are even made by Filipinos themselves. Thank you so much, Fabs. And next contest na naman natin, nakakausapin natin. Usually kasi nagchichikahan tayo dito. Para syempre, mawala din yung nervyos ninyo. So, si Maxi naman. Meron tayong something in common, okay? Pareho kaming fans ng food trip. Kasi may restaurant ako sa Maginhawa. Kung nakapunta ka na sa Urban Chicks, yes, magsasponsor kami. Okay. <laughs> Saan ka nakaabot dahil sa hobby na to? Hobby ba uh, talaga siya? Okay. Eh, yeah. Uh, it started when uh, after school, like, pag may makikita ko, like, parang food fest or something, mm. pinupunta ko siya until naging part na siya ng routine ko up until to my travels outside the country. Okay, ano yung pinaka-remarkable sa'yo na food fest na napuntahan? Uh, I guess yung recently, I went to Japan. Mm -hmm. Tapos, I, it was in Osaka. So, uh, during our stay there, lumabas ako one time just to, ano, para magpahangin lang. Tapos, I ended up being in a full street na punong-puno ng food fest. Dapat nagpa-vlog ka doon para <laughs> ma-record natin siya ay mapanood natin lahat. So maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Mamaya kakausapin din natin iba pang mga contestants. Pero dapat ay naghahanda na tayo for round number two. Susunod na yan sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. And welcome back to K-Check. Recap po muna tayo ng points ng ating contestants. Leading si Fabs with 50 points, followed by Yubel with 40 points, Maxi with 30 points, and Ray, kakayanin pang humabol sa ating mga next rounds. Ngayon, kausapin muna natin mga contestants natin. Si Yubel naman. Nabalitaan ko na isa ka palang traveler. So sa lahat ng mga napuntahan mo, locally and abroad, ano yung pinaka-favorite mo? So, yung sa locally, um, I really like Bataan kasi it's a province that we go to back and forth a lot. So, even if we visit many other places. But abroad, recently, I went to Spain and napakaganda ng architecture nila doon. Kaya, sobrang nag-enjoy ako sa peace there in Madrid. So, usually every year, nakakailang out of the country ka? Um, Post-pandemic, mga ano pa lang, once or twice a once year. Or twice. Yeah. Yeah. So, talaga ito yung tinatawag na revenge travel, yes, di ba? Yes, I agree. Kasi talagang bumawi yung mga kababayan natin. Okay, from traveling, ang gusto ko namang malaman kay Ray, is kailan pa naging hobby ang sleeping? Yun muna. <laughs> uh, kasi Alam kong ano eh, talagang kulang na kulang sa sleeping ang mga sudyante ngayon. <laughs> Pero ba, paano, naging hobby mo ba siya even before going to UP? Uh, oo, kasi uh, I, I usually spend my free time either with my friends and families or alone. So, whenever I'm alone, so may free time din ako. And usually, since parang yun nga, pagod din sa akad, mm -hmm. ang ginagawa ko sa free time ko is, ayun, natutulog lang ako. Okay, wonderful hobby. Pero hindi lang yan, may isa pang hobby si Ray. 
ito yung tinatawag mong spinning around. <laughs> Nung binanggit ko sa kanina, akala ko cycling or biking. Mm -hmm. Pero explain mo sa audience natin spinning around na ginagawa. Uh, Nagpa-biking din naman ako as a hobby but I spend that time with my friends. So yung tinutupoy kong spinning around when I'm alone is pag kunyari nagkaroon ako ng sudden burst of energy. Yung gusto ko lang makatulog ulit. So umiikot ako para mahilo. Tapos ayun, tulog ulit ako. <laughs> Wait lang. <laughs> okay. Nice yan. So, pampatulog mo sa minsan. Kapag, bago, kapag super energetic ka, tapos gusto mo makatulog. Mga ilang ikot yung ginagawa mo? Mga 20 tapos na. 20? <laughs> okay. Very interesting po yung set of uh, contestants natin today. Okay. So, maraming, uh, maraming salamat no, for letting us uh, know lahat ng mga hobbies ninyo. Pero syempre ngayon, kailangan na natin mag-prepare for round 2. Concentrate, strategize, and go for those points. Sa round na ito, correct answers are worth 20 points each. But you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. So, let's begin. Question number 1. What is the name of the ninth month of the Muslim calendar, which is also the holy month of fasting? Fabs. Ramadan. Ramadan is correct. Paycheck. Question number two. First awarded in 1951, what is the name of the longest running and most prestigious literary competition in the country? The correct answer is Palanca Awards. Question number three. In science, What do you call the type of cell division that results in two daughter cells, each having the same number and kind of chromosomes as the parent nucleus, typical of ordinary tissue growth? Ray. Mitosis. Mitosis is correct. Okay, check. Next question, number four. What is the name of a tree-dwelling marsupial of Australia that looks like a teddy bear with its round, fuzzy ears and soft, cuddly appearance. Ray. Koala. Koala is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. November 30, which is National Heroes Day in the Philippines, was once a holiday that celebrated the birthday of which famous Filipino hero? Yubel. Andres Bonifacio. Andres Bonifacio is correct. And recently, may nangyari din very important that day. Yes. Ano yun, Dobel? Um, may nag-break po na napaka-sikat uh, na showbiz couple. Sige, sarilinin muna natin yun. Okay. Question number six. The NDF is a coalition of social and economic justice organizations, unions, parties, and other groups in the Philippines. What does NDF stand for? Fabs. The National Democratic Front. The National Democratic Front is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. Which rich and progressive emirate and city of the UAE is the host of the 2023 United Nations Climate Change Conference? The correct answer is Dubai. Question number eight. What month in our calendar is named after the Roman god of war? Yubel. April? April is Malay. Maxi. May. May is Malay. Pwede pa humabol. The correct answer is Mark. Question number nine. What is the name of the medieval chemical philosophy concerned with the transformation of base metals into gold and the discovery of an elixir of life? Alchemy. Alchemy is correct. Paycheck. Question number 10. Complete the title of the movie, which was the fourth highest earning film of 2022. Blank in the Multiverse of Madness. 
Yobel. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. <laughs> Doctor Strange is correct. Kate, check. Pero nagantayan ko yung siyang tipin to ta. Okay. Question number 11. In the Harry Potter saga, what kind of bird is Hedwig? Ray. Owl. Owl is correct. Key check. Last question for this round. What do you call a list of works including books, journals, and essays on a particular subject or a list of sources reviewed when writing a literary work? Ray. References. References is mali. Yobel. Bibliography. Bibliography is correct. Okay, check. Graduating ka na ba? Yes. Okay, <laughs> kaya. <laughs> and that ends round number two. Recap tayo sa mga points sila. It's a tie sa lead natin with 90 points. Si Yobel and si Fabs. Followed by Ray with 70 points. And Maxi with 20 points. So, there's always a chance to catch up. Our ultimate pagalingan round is next. Here on Okay, check. Welcome back everyone. Recap muna tayo ng mga points. Tie on first place, si Yobel and si Fabs with 90 points. Palakpakan natin sila. Followed by Ray with 70 points and si Maxi with 20 points. Okay, but the race to finish on top continues with our ultimate pagalingan round. Remember sa ating panel of experts manggagaling ang mga katanungan. And one of you will end the day with a win. Here, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Good luck and let's begin. Let's begin our first question with Professor Neil. According to historian Samuel Keitan, this refers to a Muslim warrior who was set aside by society with appropriate rituals of sanctification and cleansing before dying for a cause. A. Kota B. Pangampong C. Rido B. Sabilala E. Sakat Puramintado rin ang tawag sa kanila. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D. Sabilala. Thank you. Prof. Blessy, next question please. Okay. Uh, usapan naman ito ng popular culture. Okay. Uh, what is the name of the leading weekly magazine which was published in 1922 and is considered as the oldest Tagalog magazine in the Philippines? Letter A, Liwayway Magazine. Letter B, Tilaok Magazine. Letter C, Busilak Magazine. Letter D, Dalisay Magazine. And letter E, Buhay Pinoy Magazine. Fabs. Uh, letter A, Liwayway Magazine. Ang magazine na ito ay nagluwal ng iba't ibang mga anyo no, para sa mga bambabasa, lalo na ng mga literary greats. No? Katulad ng mga publikasyon ni Jose Corazon de Jesus, Lope K. Santos, Florentino Colliantes, at mga comics no, na naging nobela. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A, Liwayway Magazine. Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Ben, next question, please. Okay, uh, ito ay tungkol na naman sa solar, si solar system. Uh, what is an astronomical unit or AU? Letter A, the average distance of the sun to the Earth. Letter V, the average distance of the sun to Mercury. Letter C, the average distance of the Earth to the Moon. Letter D, the average distance of the Earth to Mars. And letter E, the average distance of the Earth to Saturn. The correct answer is letter A, the average distance of the Sun to the Earth. Uh, the astronomical unit is the distance in which we measured uh, when we're looking at the planets of the solar system. Mars is about almost two astronomical units away. Uh, 
And the right answer is letter A. Okay, thank you, sir. Next question, Prof. Neil. History. Anong syudad sa China ang may literal na kahulugan na ang pangalan nito ay City on the Sea or Upon the Sea? A. Beijing B. Hong Kong C. Nanking D. Shanghai E. Wuhan Ito rin ang pinakamalaking lungsod sa China at ito rin ang sentrong pinansyal na nabanggit na bansa. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Shanghai. Oh, Leslie, go ahead. Who was this recipient of the Gawad Plaridel Award for 2023 for both his unforgettable social commentary on Philippine realities as Mr. Shuli? A. Jun Urbano B. Jun Gomez C. John Santos D. Jun De Leon and E. Jun Gonzaga. Fabs. Uh, letter C, John Santos. Wrong answer. Anyone can steal. Kilala siya sa kanyang commentaries tungkol sa Philippine realities. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A, Jun Urbano. Thank you so much, Prof. Ben. Next question, please. What is the only letter not to appear on the periodic table? Letter A, B, letter B, P, letter C, J, letter D, X, and letter E, H. Ray, C, letter J. There's no element that's, uh, that starts with a J in our periodic table. So, K check. Next question, Prof. E. Philippine history, which of the following was written by Gregorio Sanchanco in the 19th century? A. Dasalan at Toksohan B. El Progreso de Filipinas C. La Loba Negra D. La Soberania Monacal E. Liwanag at Dilim. Librong ito ay listahan ng mga kakulangan ng Spanish colonial government mula sa defense and security hanggang sa public works. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, El Progreso de Filipinas. Prof. Lassie. Sino ang tinuturing na father of Philippine cinema? Letter A, Jose Napumuseno. P, Jose Santos. C, Jose Lito Gomez. D. Jose Burgos and E. Jose Rizal. Yobel. C. Wrong answer. Anyone can steal. Ang tamang sagot ay Jose Nepomuceno. Thank you so much. Prof. Ben, go ahead. Okay, uh, usapan mga para sa mga puso. How many hearts does an octopus have? Letter A, two. Letter B, three. Letter C, one. Letter D, five. And letter E, six. Yobel. B, B. Okay, that's right. Uh, an, an octopus has three hearts. Okay, check. Thank you. Now we're off to our last set of questions for this round. Pero ting silipin lang natin yung scores, no? Tai at 105 points, si Yubel at si Fabs, si Ray at 100, and si Maxi at 20. Kaya mo pa rin humabol, Maxi. Super close fight tong uh, round na to. Okay? Last question from Sir Neil. Yeah, huling tanong mula sa akin ay Philippine history. According to the Mastura Tarsila, or genealogy, the Cotabato Sultanate formed by Sheriff Kabungsuan was a consequence of his alliance with a local ruling class led by this individual. A. Baginda B. Dayang Dayang C. Mamalu D. Tabunaway E. Tuan Masyaisa Sa kwento ng mga Moro sa Mindanao, lahat ng mga indigenous groups kaugnay nito ay direktang nakaugat sa taong ito. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, 
Tabunaway. Thank you so much. Prof. Glassie, go ahead. Ah, okay. Ang next na tanong ay Philippine literature. What was the famous Philippine metrical romance written by Francisco Balagtas or Francisco Baltazar which became a must reading for high school students? Letter A, Florante at Laura. B, Florante at Ako. C, Florante. D, Bernarda Alba. And E, Orosman at Safira. Yobel. A, Florante at Laura. Ang sikat na metrical romance na ito ay naisali na sa iba't ibang mga anyo at sinasabing isang komentaryo sa kalagayan ng Pilipinas noong panahon ng kolonyal na pamamahala ng mga Espanyol. Ang tamang sagot ay Florante at Laura, Kate Check. Alright, we're off to our last question. Prof. Ben, go ahead. Okay, the next question is on the weather and meteorology. Okay. Which cloud type is the fair weather cloud? A. Cirrus B. Cumulonimbus C. Cumulus D. Stratus and E. Nimbus Ray C. Cumulus Okay, that's correct. Cumulus clouds are the ones that are called fair weather clouds. They signify good weather for the day. So, K-check. And that's it for our K-check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Very close fight ang round na to. But congratulations to you, Bell, our K-check daily winner. Congratulations. So, Yubel has 135 points and we'll see Yubel again on Friday when she competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Of course, maraming maraming salamat kay Ray, kay Maxi, at kay Fabs. Maraming salamat. Napakasayang round. And of course, to our panel of experts, Professor Neil, Professor Glessy, and Professor Ben. Once again, I'm Jules Giang and join us again tomorrow for another Day Check. <laughs>